Yesterday we learned about an artist. Do you remember his name? His name was Henri Rousseau. Now Henri Rousseau was famous for making jungle paintings, but Henri Rousseau's jungle paintings were all made up, imaginary jungle paintings, because they were made with a combination of house plants and plants that he found in his local Paris botanical gardens. Some of Henri Rousseau's jungle landscapes had people in them, and some had tigers or monkeys in them. But how did he learn how to draw a tiger or a monkey if he'd never been to the jungle before? Well, Henri Rousseau had the zoo, and he had picture books. There are actually two paintings that we have found where it looks like he used the exact same drawing of a tiger. One is called Surprise, and one is called Scout Attacked by a Tiger, where it looks like Henri Rousseau used the exact same drawing, but he just flipped it. So, in honor of Henri Rousseau, today we are going to learn how to draw a tiger. Here we are going to draw a tiger. For our tiger's head, we're going to start with our tracing circle. If you want to get a larger one to fill up more of the paper, you can because we're just going to be drawing its head. So if you want to fill up more of the paper and get a bigger cup or maybe a bowl or something, make sure you ask for permission first. I'm going to stick with this size because it's just what I have with me right now. Actually, I do have bigger cups. This used to be a, a yogurt cup and I like to use it as a pencil cup sometimes. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to go all the way around. Curve around. Excuse me, hand. Oh, my books are falling. All right, now we have our tiger's face. For our tiger's nose, find the middle or as close to the middle as you can get. And we're going to draw a heart. So an easy way to draw a heart is to draw a dot and then another dot below it. And from the top dot, you go up, around, and back down. Up, around, and back down. If you can already draw a heart without doing those two dots, you don't have to do those two dots. That's just a trick to help you if you are struggling with drawing a heart. Then next, from the side of this heart, we're going to go up, and around like a candy cane. And remember, you want to make it pretty big. Then on the same, same thing on the other side, up and around and back down. Now for the tiger's mouth. We're going to finish the eyes in just a second. We're going to start from the bottom of this heart and go down and up, kind of like a normal animal mouth, but we're going to keep going up, 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 and then curve in. Down, curve around like a regular animal mouth, but we're going to keep going up, 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 and curve in. Now for our tiger's chin, we're going to start at the bottom of this, down, curve across, and back up. So it's kind of like the letter U. Now for our tiger's eyes, we're going to do a kind of like a U shape or but more of a banana curve. So you can turn it to the side and see that banana curve and end at that point. Start here, curve and back up. Now inside the eyes, we're going to do a circle. And if I'm going too fast, please just pause. Then a circle inside that one. And this middle inside circle is going to be black for the pupil. And then this outside circle is going to be a yellowy orange. Cause that's kind of like a yellowy orangey brown. Cause that's what color tiger's eyes really are. But we'll color that in later once we get to the coloring portion. 
Now, tigers on this part of their face, the bottom part is white and the top part is orange. So we're going to divide that up with a curve so that we know where to color later and where not to color. Then we can add whiskers. And remember, we're doing a flick just like we did in the leaf lesson. One, two, three. So that these flicks are a little bit longer. One, two, three. Now for our tiger's stripes. That's what makes the tiger look like a tiger. We are going to start closer to the top and I'm going to do a curve line down and then I'm going to curve it back up. I'm going to hop down the side some, curve it down and curve it back up. And I'm going to say, and now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Curve it down and curve it back up. Curve it down and curve it back up. Now for a tiger's forehead, it's kind of like the top of a heart. So starting over here, we're going to curve down and then curve over, almost like a unibrow, but it's not a unibrow. Then we're going to match these lines and do another one. Now, tigers have kind of funny eyebrows because the pattern of the stripes on their forehead kind of look like its eyebrows, but it really isn't. So I'm going to show you. It's a C shape and then a matching one to make it look like a moon. And the same thing on the other side, a C right here, and then a matching one to make it look like a moon. Now for our tiger's ears. A tiger is a cat and a tiger's ears are kind of pointy, but not so pointy as a house cat. So we're going to start closer to the top and we're going to do a line that goes mostly sideways. Then we're going to curve it down. Mostly sideways, then curve it down. Now for the inside of our tiger's ear, we're going to leave a pretty big space and we're going to do basically the same shape, but we're going to leave a skinny space on this side. Leave a big space and then a skinny space. And that is our tiger. So now we just have to color him in. Okay, this is our tiger. I left the bottom of his mouth and his chin white because tigers have that area white in real life. All right, I can't wait to see what kind of tigers you come up with. Have fun.